Howdy, and welcome back to Old World Blues for Hearts of Iron 4. Today, we'll be going down south to uh, the location of Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, the critically acclaimed Fallout title, and playing the Alamo chapter. This nation has been recommended by you folks. If you want any other nation played or shown off, please be sure to leave them in the comments. I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so please join me in that journey. Liking, sharing, and commenting help a lot, and I just want to give a quick thank you for reaching 3,000. Just happened a few days ago. Very happy about that, and I just... Thank you all for that journey, and we'll see if we can get to 5,000. Now, as you can see, there is no Alamo chapter. But there is a Texan Brotherhood, and we'll have to start as these guys before becoming the Alamo chapter. So you see, we got some uh, interesting folks here, like Atlanius. Uh, the Twin Mothers, led by uh, the AI. Uh, the Maxon Expedition, which I have been recommended to play, and they're definitely on the list to make a video on. Shale's army, which um, there's two paths I'd like to go down of that army, but I feel like I'd do that for a, a special occasion, you know. Do the regular path and then the secret one for a special one. We know the description here, we defeat the big bad of Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, and we are now making ourselves home at Texas and becoming nice and progressing towards something similar to probably Lion's chapter, but more seeking roots to stay and grow in Texas. However, there's some people at the Alamo Foreshadowing of the narrative. who don't want to really deviate from the Brotherhood's original mission of being a bunch of tech hoarders with power armor and big guns. Having a look around, we got a bunch of uh, lovely nations next to us. Uh, we got um, we got the AI Mexican robots. Give me a little bit of the fear, not gonna lie. Luckily, uh, Lanius is a decent bit away from me, and hopefully it stays that way. And the Carthaginians. The enemies of Rome have returned. They're cannibals. Okay then. We got Lone Star, which we seem to be in a faction with, along with the unity of Austin. Oh wow, it's a Superman faction. Wow, we got re-democracy. Okay, we're not quite a democracy. We got two democracies and potentially a democracy working together. It's actually nice to see some super mutants and humans cooperating. You don't get that much in the Fallout universe or... Um, reasons. But yes, let us uh, begin with the Long March West. Now we've got a decent sized army. We have one power armor unit. Oh, I like my power armor. How can we be the Brotherhood without power armor? Looks like we got a copycat ghoul from the Fallout TV show here. I see we've got some cultural clashes here with the military heritage and the fact that we are not getting along with the elders back home. These guys are not going to be helping us at all, but to be fair, they're stuck in a hole surrounded by Californians. I don't think they'll be able to get help from there to there. Despite being a Brotherhood nation, we have no sophisticated technology, even power armor and like infantry equipment, which I'm a bit like, oh. Uh, we do have law keepers, so uh, we're keeping with the Texas vibe. Looking at the Texan focus tree, it's pretty nice. It's not the biggest, but it's got enough stuff to do for a while. Looks like we've got two different paths here. We've got like coming more integrated with Texas and becoming a nation of our own, or, um, just having a hissy fit, Brotherhood style. Never mind, we're saying we have two power armor divisions, not one. Not even five days in and some guy thinks they can push me around. God damn it, it's the Carthaginians, the enemies of Rome are back at it again. Oh, you thought salting the earth was bad, Carthage. Well, guess what happens when you add lasers and plasmas to that. All right, now we have access to the rest of the main focus. Other than these two, I believe these become available after the split. Kind of like, what do I do? do since, well, I'm not going to be playing this nation for very long and I don't really want to set them up in a way that they might be able to harm me in the future. Seems like the elders back west want to make friends again. Hmm. They seem to be up to something. Here we are, we have the event now that we can become the Alamo chapter. I believe it's because the Lone Star got invaded by these raiders and now things have basically not went well. Uh, so yeah, we can choose to continue as the Texan Brotherhood, or we can become the Alamo chapter, and we shall return to tradition. No one shall have toasters but us. Here we are. We are now the Alamo chapter, this small little bit of the Texan Brotherhood. Uh, well, uh, have fun guys, but we're going to do our own thing. We're going to make our own chapter of Blackjack and Hookers. And now we've got the lone super mutant in my territory going home. Nope, and he's gone. Now we have our nice new neighbors, uh, my old brotherhood, uh, the Ironmongers and the uh, Pearsant. Maybe this wasn't a smart idea. So yeah, this is our new focus tree. It's pretty decent. It doesn't seem like you've got too many divergent paths. I think 
this is the divergent path being the animal chapter instead of being like, ah yes, we go down this path to be this type of brotherhood, or down that path to be that type of brotherhood. Time to consolidate our power now as the new brotherhood chapter. Alright, starting off, we don't have uh, great factories and we don't have, we got alright infrastructure, I did improve some of it before we split off, but uh, factories, not so much. Population's decent and uh, let's see if our technology research is any different. No, we don't have any sophisticated technology whatsoever. Well, this may be a bit more of a struggle than uh, just simply being the Texan Brotherhood. Only one way to find out. Ah, look at that army. We got actually three power armor divisions, not two. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. Actually, I lie. We've got five power armor divisions. Yeah, this is so much better than Texan Brotherhood. Yeah, well, let's go. I do like myself some people in giant metal armored suits. And this right here is why you never let the AI ever do production. I got two basic weaponry. Why do I have two? And look at this. Look at all the sophisticated technology we're about to get. God. We are doing real well here. Looks like we're going to demand Richmond from the Texan Brotherhood. Uh, I know we broke off from you and stole a bunch of technology and this and that, but um, yeah, give us more of your land, pretty please. Let's see if they uh, accept our demand. Oh, they did. Okay, no war. That's good then. I'm doing uh, a little focus. We now have a goal on these guys here, and why not just sweep and exterminate them and take their technology? Those toasters shall be ours. They're going down quite easy by the looks. Yeah, this is looking like a very easy victory for the Alamo chapter right here. Time to be added to our new chapter. As you see, we have access to the rest of the folks tree. Uh, immediately, I am trying to get our industry back up and running. So yeah, we got like the main kind of political tree here. We got kind of gathering technology here, advancing our own technology there with scribes, uh, emergency powers for if things start to get a bit tough. Even an uh, option to rejoin Texas. Looks like the elders recognize us and want to establish communications. Okay then, let's go. It seems like one of the Mexican AIs is justifying on us. Um, I'm gonna be real, I don't know if we can stand them. Might as well try. So this might be a bit of a struggle. Might actually need to work on the building defenses and hoping that we can hold them at these choke points. And so the war begins against the robots. They may outnumber me, but I do have a good choke point here. Let's just hope we can hold them here and keep building defenses. Them keep hitting me keep wasting their manpower or robot power and then we can sweep in and kill uh, that's not that was red for a second that had me scared uh, but hopefully they drain themselves on me and then we can swoop in and kill them all yeah nothing is really happening on the front other than getting attacked a few times here and there but I'm trying my best to drain their manpower but they're doing it a lot better than i am um i am just waiting Building, building, and building. And hopefully, when we get a bigger army, we can push through and take these robots out. However, I am afraid that my other neighbors might start eyeing me up. So, I'm, I'm trying desperately to build more factories, to build more guns, then pump out more guys. I'm trying to fix the manpower problem. As you can see, they're not helping. I, I think it's just a time game. We just need to wait them out, which is hard because they don't age and die, they're robots. Apparently Rosando stands with the Alamo chapter, I guess a part of the Texan Brotherhood is with me. Or maybe this area I stole from them. I'm not sure, but hey, we get more resources. This has been a very nasty divorce for the, the Texan Brotherhood, you know, I, I very much have taken the kids. And we got even more aid from Gloria this time, and they've given me civilian factories and manpower. Yes, this is what I need. Thank you, Valentina. I will... um probably not repay the favor but uh this this was exactly what i needed thank you very much like the good old tech fiends we are as the brotherhood we uh, managed to reconnect to a orbital satellite and are using it for uh intel to help us spy on our enemies but it is very nice very nice we have a bunch of bonuses hopefully that will give us a little bit of an edge in the uh department against the ai you can see a bit more of their army you got about 2k deployed manpower you got about 2k reserve manpower we've actually managed to put them in a higher death rate than us i feel like maybe a few more divisions and then we'll be able to push in and wipe this goddamn abomination off the face of the earth and this technology seized by us because you know it's ours you know the technology like do you have a toaster in the back there you know do you mind if I see it? You know, uh, I'm not asking. I'm going to disintegrate you if you don't give me that toaster. So time to dive into Fort Hood and see what secrets it has. All the old world tech and experiments for the Brotherhood to use. This could not end horribly at all. 
Well, that looks terrifying. We got manpower and unused security codes and we're beached level 8. Now I can recruit some of these guys to help out and uh, you know, I'm gonna do it. Let's see what happens. Well, turns out, nope, they don't want to help. Okay then. So yeah, uh, I guess we'll start preparing an expedition then and then dive into the mysterious Fort Hood and whatever lays beneath it. Okay, our expedition's at 150 manpower. I think it's time to launch the expedition. Looks like we found a giant metal door. Who I guess would find one of those in an underground military bunker? Now we can use brute force, try to find another way around, or retreat. I think we'll try to find another way around. I don't want to blow open this place and it turns out it's got nukes inside of it and all of a sudden my entire chapter goes up in flames. Uh, have a look around please. And uh, yeah, okay, you don't need to rob it in game. And it looks like the Republic of the Rio Grande wants us to join their little faction, which actually might be pretty nice. And I don't know who they're really going to be at war with. Probably the same people we're going to be at war with. Yeah, why not? Strength in numbers. I could call them into this war, but I, I won't. I'll let them fight their war, I'll fight my war, and if I really need them, I'll call them in, but I don't really want to give them a two-front war in case they can't really support that. Looks like we use those codes to hack our way deeper into the bunker. Let's see what juicy technology we have, and it's uh, not going to lie, pretty decent so far. Uh, this might be a, a problem now. Um, Hopefully they fight each other and don't come for me. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. It seems like her ally has joined into the war without me even asking them to join. So I guess it's time to see how tough these tin cans really are. We're over and time to push these guys out. Looks like we've got a nice little encirclement right there. We're pushing in and hopefully we can take these guys out before, well, where is happening here to affect everything here? And there goes that encirclement. It's become a slow grind now. Uh, I see my ally is um, dealing with two Mexican AIs instead of one like me. So I'm trying my best to kill this thing as quick as I can so then I can then assist them with this. But it's going real slow. We're back to like the trenches here, but in the jungle and with robots and power armor. Except from this guy in the goddamn hat and the goddamn giant sword, he is dripped out in this war right here. Oh, and there's another encirclement. My god, this has become so grueling. I did not expect how grueling this would be. My god, these guys are still tough, even when they're encircled. <laughs> Please just die. Oh, and as you can see, an even better encirclement here. This is going to kill a lot of them. As I see, we've got another encirclement here, and we're losing all this land to this guy I'm not even at war with. It is becoming very frustrating to keep maneuvering the front lines. Oh, and they won't give me the territory, so it's kind of difficult. But we're slowly getting there. If I just rush them down, then we'll be fine, even though we've got thousands and thousands of dead on both sides. Okay, I think the war is coming to its end now. As you can see, the kill count has not been great. It started off a lot worse, pretty much one to one. Uh, but it's uh, we've balanced it out by killing a lot more robots than they have killed us. There we are, 100% capitulation. Frank. God, that war took so long. And there we are. We're now the very long Alamo chapter. Oh, now what are we going to do? <laughs> My mind's been so frazzled by just fighting that war. Oh, oh yes, the bunker. Hmm, pre-war force fields. Let's see if we can hack through that. And we did. Just when the big war ends, the seeds of a new one begin. As Chai... Chin Tiza demands territory. Who are these guys? No, we will not give you our territory, all right? We just defeated a bunch of robot hordes. You're nothing going to be compared to that, I guarantee it. Oh, wait, you, you're friends with... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is a lot bigger than I thought. End one big war and go straight into the other. All right, they've got their justification. They can now declare war at any moment. They haven't. Oh, and we found sentient automated power armor. It's not just a robot then. So yes, we found sentient power armor that we're going to put to good use against our enemies for the Brotherhood. Sentient command slaves. That that doesn't sound good. That sounds bad. But yes, I think that's us completely. Yep, we've completely done all of Fort Hood's exploration now. Time to put that technology to good use. 
Also, by the looks, my ally is not doing good against this AI, and I really should probably help them, because I have a feeling this might come to bite me in my ass. So far, the assault's going pretty well. Let's just hope we can grab their capital before, well, guys from the front line up here come back down to stop that. The fight for their capital begins, but I doubt it'll be a long one. I bet we'll grab that any second. Yep, there we go. You had a navy? You were landlocked. How was that... You know, I'm not going to question it. There we go. We got the silo, which hopefully has nuclear weapons we can use. And now that we've helped our great Mexican ally, they can hopefully deal with um, that if it comes down south. Despite winning all the wars we've been in and being in an actual alright state, we're going to plea for help. I don't know, we just want help. As painful as it is to admit, we stand no chance alone. We need aid. No matter what form that might take. And we get unexpected aid. I, I wonder who's going to be coming to save the day for us. Our call has been answered. So apparently our efforts to contact uh, Lost Hills back in California has had a knock-on effect where we've actually been intercepted by the Midwest Brotherhood. Oh my god, yeah, the Midwest Brotherhood is here. So we have the non-canon Brotherhood of Steel game, which is the basis for all of Texas and the Alamo chapter and all that. And then, after making a call for help, we get aid from the soft cannon Fallout Tactics with the Midwest Brotherhood coming to our aid, which, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty badass. That's a good use of the IPs mod developer. My power armor hat off to you. But yeah, we get the power armor from Fallout Tactics, which uh, is pretty cool looking, and it's a shame we've not seen it in game since then, if I'm not wrong. Might be wrong, but I'm certain I haven't seen it since Tactics. And if that's the case, please, Professor, please bring it back. It's very cool. Please, Professor, for the next game, pretty please. Oh. When I was not looking, yet they declared war on us. Let's call in our ally to this war. Actually, my ally's about to declare war in Texas, isn't it? Please, please don't do that. So, these guys are at war with a Mexican AI. I never thought I'd be fighting side by side by a Mexican AI. And no, I will not call it a friend. Because it will most likely stab me in the back the first chance it gets. It does say insane AI, like, right there. The first encirclement of the war, pretty decent one if I do say so myself. The Brotherhood's siege in Mexico City goes on. I've only lost just under 700, and look at the damage we're doing here. This, this is definitely the one I'll be asking to do the KD ratio towards the end of the video. You know, I was wondering, it's like, wow, it's been a while since the last day of focus. It's 120 days. Oh, they've launched a big assault and it is, um, well, all green for me, so... Can't wait to see that number go up. It seems like this facility I'm trying to gain access to was, um, well, used by the Enclave. And, uh, we're gonna pretend that we're Enclave to see if we can sneak in. Let's hope they just recognize big suits of power armor. Yeah, we're going for the lines here in the Northwest, just trying to slip by, grab any circlements and as much land as we can. And we're going to circlement at... No, ha you know, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna try it. Just gonna make a fool of myself. I'm working on a master encirclement here. Let's see if we can grab it. Well, look at that. A bunch of new encirclements for me to destroy. Not gonna lie, I, I expected to be up here in like Texas and parts of Mexico. I didn't expect to be like all the way down here in like middle southern Mexico. Like, look at me. Look how long I am. I'm gonna end up becoming like the new Chile. Just, you know, a big long nation next to the coast. So it seems like we radioed or sent a message to some type of oil rig that the Enclave had connections to or something like that. And it's housed by a bunch of ghouls, which I'm not entirely sure are the Enclave or killed a bunch of Enclave. But hey, they gave us, um... A bunch of schematics for vertebrates and all that, that's pretty cool. And despite the ghoul's generosity, uh, it seems like if they ever want to come back to the mainland, well, being the Brotherhood, um, we'll treat them very nicely and not possibly kill them. Oh, we've done some damage. I've lost about just under 2,000 and, uh, well, we've killed uh, a good few of them, to say the least. Look at that expert negotiator. Yeah, they're negotiating me taking over their country. That's 44 divisions, I think, in there. That's, uh, oh. Oh, that's a huge chunk of the army gone there. That's this guy down. It was just the one that declared war on me. Well, it looks like we discovered some nuclear silos, and, well, they still got the goods in them. Okay, so we're right outside their capital now. Oh, look, it even has a cool little pyramid. That's actually pretty cool. Lucius has taken the mantle of Caesar's Legion. Huh. So, are we not going to get a civil war for them? Interesting. Any times Kaiser has died, I've always seen a civil war kick off but this seems to be the first time it hasn't. I swear to God, right before this war ends, we may have a new one kicking off against another Mexican AI. What is with these Mexican AIs? Who made you? Why are you so annoying? And there we go. 
There we are, we are now the very long Alamo chapter, going from all the way to Texas to down all the way to Central America. Now even though I don't really want any more war, because uh, this area is going to be very annoying to pacify, we need this layer to do our focus, this one here. And then once we get that done, we can do send it back west. And then once that's done, we can form the real chapter, and then come to the conclusion of the Alamo chapter, which has been pretty fun, except from that one Mexican AI. It's been pretty fun, you know, we broke away from Texas, which, which is now ran by a mutant, okay then. Well, before I even got my justification going, right here, got one day progress, um, this guy declared war on me. I don't know what I've done to piss off so many Mexican AIs, but clearly they just don't like me. It seems like our old brothers in Texas have declared war on Kaisar's legion, or the sons of Kaisar now. Well, I wish you guys well. I'm I'm kind of in a sticky situation myself here. Okay, hold on a minute. Alright, I'm trying to justify to declare war on this guy. And then he's demanded my territory and wants to declare war on me. You can't declare war on me when I'm trying to declare war on you. That's just rude. But since we took this area right here, that means we can now continue down our focus street. That's very nice. Oh look, our justification's done. Oh wait, we're already at war. Oh, one down. Second to go. Now, this is it. The last Mexican AI. I think I have fought pretty much all of the Mexican AIs down here. But this is the last one, and once he is done, there is no more Mexican AIs. They're gone. Well, except from the one my ally popped But after him, dead. With a joint effort, by the looks, this Mexican AI is donezo. It looks like we found the core of the AI that was used to control Mexico during its occupation by America before the war. And it's time for us to uh, put that technology to much better use. Here it is, this is the last focus tree. As you can see, we've done pretty much all of it other than like joining Texas again. But you only do that if like you're about to die. And there we go. There we are, the war is over. There we are, the war is over. As you can see, the Alamo chapter stands strong, all of its enemies defeated, while our brothers up north wage a war against the remnants of Caesar's Legion. All we got to do now is reconnect with Lost Hills, and that should be the end of the run of the Alamo chapter. And with the focus Send Out West done, we can now form the real chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. There we are. We are now the real chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though we start off very small and a breakaway state from Texas, we have managed to pull together a ginormous chapter of the Brotherhood. Like, we're the biggest chapter around. Yet with the largest one around, the only other ones I can really see are the Washington Brotherhood and Texas, if you still count them. But we've done it. We have created the real chapter, we've stood on our own two legs, and we've brought ourselves glory to the Brotherhood. Was it easy? No, no it wasn't. This was probably definitely the toughest one I've done out of all the nations I've played. Just immediately getting hit with that Mexican AI. I say the Mexican AI, like there wasn't like four of them I had to face. But being hit by that first guy really slowed down progress. You know, after we beat the first guy and then shortly we went into another war and then into another war. Didn't have much quiet times to build up, but hey, we managed to pull it through. Yeah, but that's everything the Alamo chapter, or no, the real chapter has to offer. I just want to say thank you to whoever recommended this nation. Well, there's another nation you want me to play either in Old World Blues or different mod or in base game Hoi 4, achievement hunting, or any suggestions in any game, I'm open for them. Please leave your thoughts in the video, I'd love to hear them. Please give it a like and share it around. We're trying to hit 5,000 by the end of the year, and I just want to say thank you for already reaching 3,000. It has been a hell of a journey, and I cannot wait to share more with you. Other than that, adios. And hey, now you'll never forget the Alamo because we are massive.